Canada Internet. I'm here with Brenda from Canada. Hello, Internet people, and hello, people from New Zealand. This is so awesome that we can do this. I just, I have been so looking forward to this so date with you, Future Cat. It's been fun. I've been just like, oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? So my question to you first, what are you doing today? I have a plan because I had a nice cushion on my bed and my cat has destroyed it. So I'm yeah. going to make a new cushion. And I found years ago in a garage sale this denim fabric and i reckon i can make a nice cushion out of this with some applique on it oh yeah. nice very I nice as i go along as i always do but that's <laughs> my project today <laughs> i quite cool. decided if i'm going to do like raw edge or turned applique i haven't quite uh, i have got a charity quilt challenge coming up in a, a group big group that i host so in March, our March meeting, it's my turn to come up with the challenge. So my challenge is going to be orphan blocks. Mm -hmm. And because every time I do a video, guess what, guys? I'm making an orphan block. And now you got to figure out something to do with them, right? So look at, look <laughs> at my wall behind me. That, that is a bunch of orphan blocks that someone put on the giveaway table at my guild. And I thought, I'm going to take them and I'm going to see what I can do with them. So I'm halfway through designing a quilt made of totally of other people's orphan blocks. Yeah. And sometimes that's a, it's a kind of an interesting challenge. It's a good mm. brain, yes. you know, get your brain going. I'm excited to get going on that challenge. So anyways, the challenge is make quilts out of your orphan blocks, mm -hmm. but make as many as you can. Because all of us in that group, we have stacks and stacks and stacks of orphan mm -hmm. blocks. And make as many charity quilts as you can. Because this is a time, I think, in our in our lives where we need to be charitable and be mm -hmm. helpful. Especially, like, what's going on here in Canada and in Alberta is that there's so many charities right now that need help. So, have you got, like, are you going to do flowers, hearts? You're not sure yet? Um, yeah, maybe flowers. I'm thinking, like, sort of maybe some flowers and vines and leaves and things. Yeah. Yeah, I uh I I learned how to do needle turn applique and then after that I was just like, oh gosh, do I have to do applique? And I did do a lot of applique, but I was not I wasn't fond of it. I do the sewing machine applique now or I do the raw edge. Yeah. Or I sometimes I will do the turned applique where you know like you turn it with interfacing and then you Yeah, sew that's it what I was thinking. Maybe do yeah. it that way, yeah. Yeah, that way, that way is a little easier. But the way yeah. I learned how to do it, it was like you cut out your little thin cardboard templates and you stitch stitch it in place. Like you stitch it. Yeah. You thread baste it so it stays. Oh, no, I'm not shape. doing that. No, nothing with basting. Like, I don't do basting. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of work to that. Okay, just go be creative. Go yeah. have fun. Just, yep. yeah. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's we don't have to do anything. Thing. It's like, it doesn't matter if you go into things without a plan. You just start and see what happens. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes those are where the best ideas come from, is just, yeah. you know, pick it up, you know, pick up your pencil and paper and doodle and fabric and just start making it happen. Yeah. Because that's where the joy is, right, is to make something cool and new. And, you know, like I love my, I love going through my doodling books, my, like, <laughs> I went to a, a uh, supply office supply place and I have a doodling book. And now as I'm going through my doodling books, once we film the idea that I think is good enough to film, because yeah. not all your ideas are great, no, okay. you know, but by the time I you film this, I mean, I pull it out and you move on to the next fun idea or you recreate that idea to make it better. Right. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of fun. You can just sit and play and, but let's talk about our challenge because last time we got together, we challenged each other on our UFOs. Yes, yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I am I'm right off the hop. I'm conceding you the win, future cat. I really am. Because if you finish one or two quilts, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> just, I just could believe I got the quilt tops done. But the quilting and the binding and all, no, no. 
what happened was because of this emergency call for quilt tops for charity, they came, they came and they cleaned me out, which I mean, other than the ones that were for gifts for my family or members or friends, they're, they're all gone. So technically you have nothing left in your works in progress pile. So, you know, so maybe you win because you did clear out that pile. You just didn't do them yourself. <laughs> well, I think I finished one maybe that was in my pile. I've made several quilts since then, but none of them out of my UFO pile. I keep making new quilts instead. <laughs> or, okay, so are we agreeing to challenge each other again for the UFOs? Or are we just going, Brenda's got a lost cause. They're ain't going to have <laughs> yeah, I think we just, we'll just pretend that that never happened. I think that's the best thing. And we just, we're, we're just making quilts. We don't no, need to be challenged. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're challenged enough. Yeah. Well, I managed to give three, I think. Yeah, three quilts to charity last year. So I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. But, yep. Considering right. I don't have the output you do, I, I don't manage to make quite as many quilts, but yeah. But you know what? I don't work. I'm retired, yeah. right? Mm. So my time is like all day is my time, right? So <laughs> so what is your big plan for the next couple of months? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, at this point, I would have said, well, the next couple of months are going to be really, really busy. Anyway, I'm going to New York. Oh! <gasps> Oh wow! Very exciting. <laughs> um, it's for a work thing. I'm I'm going over to visit some universities in New York and around Washington DC area to do a presentation on some work work. <laughs> and um, but I have to spend a week in New York, which is really sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, but it'll be fun. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So I need recommendations on good fabric shops in New York so that I can buy some fabric and bring it home. That's they have um uh, well Victoria Finley Wolf, right? I mean, right off the top, that's what you know, she's the queen of New York uh, you know, quilting and just beautiful fabric. She's mm. got gorgeous fabric. And I think she has a small shop in New York. I'm not sure where it is. Right. But um, anything in the garment district, you have yes. to be careful yeah. to look and phone first, find out mm -hmm. ahead. Yeah. You know, if they even have any cotton. Mm. The garment district has every fabric imaginable. Yeah. You know, if you're into sewing clothes, I mean, it's amazing what you can get there. But yeah, but be, you know, it, you can yes. spend a lot of time in there and not find anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Wilson. My bed. laughs> Mind you, if you're doing wools, like wool and apple gaze and stuff like mm. that. You, yeah, the garment district would be the place to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they would have small wood, woolen, you know, scraps maybe, yeah. you know, the, mm. to get you started. So mm. I don't know what kind of thing you're, you you want to go into, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you can have fun. I'm going to have to, like, take an extra suitcase just to... <laughs> Buy one. Buy one when you're there. Yeah. <laughs> buy one. Just buy one when you're there. Yeah. So if any of our viewers know any great, great uh, quilt shops to go see in New York, yes. please put them in the comments below on either my channel or Future Cat's channel. We're going to be linked back and forth to each other. Yeah. But I mean, put those comments in there so we both can see them. You know, which ones you would recommend. Or if you've gone to New York and you've gone to some place where it just has amazing, you know, quilting fabric, let us know because we're asking for that assistance right now. Yeah, and it might be our time. To know where to go because yeah. Um, when I hear New York, I th first thing the words of Victoria Finley Wolf, but I'm not sure if her quilt store is reopened or not. So I would love to someday I will go there. If they move all the people out of New York, then I go. <laughs> and then and I go I buy and I leave and then they put all the people back yeah I know I'm not big crowded city no <laughs> yeah, it's good. I think it'll be the biggest city I've ever been to I mean I, I lived in London and I've been to places like Paris and Rome and I've been to Washington DC but I've never been to New York so this is going to be a big city <laughs> but yeah I'm, this is yeah 
interesting. I, I see pictures of people on the seat, the street on the sidewalk walking like at rush hour. And I start feeling anxious immediately. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and it's, you know, it's there's that crowded moving crowd. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it'll be exciting. So how did we do with our sewing day? <laughs> I got nothing done. <laughs> I have been, I sewed a mountain of uh, like blocks together, the strips of four to go along the sides yeah. of these uh, charity blocks, these potato chip blocks. And I have a hundred in this stack, but I don't think I have 200 in this stack. So I'm going to be doing more sewing, but I knew that was going to happen anyways. It's kind of one of those things that you... Yeah, okay. You know, you got to just live with it and go with it. So, yeah. But yeah, I had fun today. I'm so glad you decided. I'm so glad we decided we had time to do this because yeah. it get, life gets crazy for me. And I'm less, my husband keeps telling me, you're really overscheduled. And I'm like, well, maybe. He's having my schedule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still having fun. So I don't consider yeah. it overscheduled, but yeah, maybe a little overscheduled. <laughs> yeah. oh, this has been good this has reminded me that I need to actually schedule time just to sit and sew and not be racing from one place to another all the time that sometimes you just need to say right this is a sewing day and so this has been really good but yeah and you, you know what you future cat it's so important for one's creativity to seize that time and say this is yeah. my time my time I can't see that oh very cool yeah Oh, that's going to be lovely when it's done. Yeah. I have to edit in some proper pictures of us. So see yes, it. edit in the proper pictures and then I, I will go looking for it. Oh, I had a blast. Yeah, so a really, really good day. <laughs> Being fun. Thank you. Yeah. So anyways, you take care until we see each other again and we'll stay in touch and we'll try and get another so date in before Christmas. Yeah. We're not. We're not challenging each other for ufos because that that ship has sailed yep no <laughs> too hard we're, we're just challenging each other to keep enjoying the process of quilting yes that's an ex that's an excellent challenge to yeah. do that one that one rocks good for you yeah. yeah okay guys you take care until we see each other again bye <laughs>